You need to create scarcity. And I've talked a lot about this and you know, it's not fair and nobody wants it to be true. And don't we all just wish that, you know, we didn't end up kind of taking other people for granted after time, but it's true. And this is, this is a, this is a psychological principle that time and time again, this is just how things work. And so it's important to know about how things work so that you're not putting yourself into weird situations. And how things work is that if you're around somebody all the time, what's going to end up happening is they're going to take your presence for granted. And it's the same thing with anything, right? And I, I've talked about this before. If, if a guy brings you flowers every single day, eventually you're just going to expect that he's going to bring you flowers and you're going to start taking it for granted. If you eat chocolate every single day, eventually it's going to wear out and it's not going to be special anymore because you're getting it every single day, right? And so it's not amazing that you get chocolate and that's why it's better to eat, if you eat chocolate and you love chocolate, to eat chocolate only once once a month or twice a month or something like that because then it's this awesome experience that you have that you really enjoy instead of this thing that you have all the time that becomes really familiar and it's not that interesting to you anymore. And so if it's something that you really desire and it's scarce, it becomes a lot more valuable and that's what the idea of scarcity is right and so one of the ideas here is instead of sending out reaching out every single day and saying good morning good night with your text messages and stuff which I keep talking to women that are doing this instead of doing it's not bad to send a good morning or a good evening or a good night text or anything like that but what ends up happening is if you're doing it all the time it becomes predictable it loses its its value and it's not as exciting for him to receive it. And so you want to be more unpredictable in this sense. You want to be more sporadic with reaching out instead of doing it every day and every night and every time that he expects you to because then all of a sudden he's expecting it and you're just going to be doing it and you you want to give him some space. You want to give him space so that he can wonder about what you're doing and where you are and who you're with. Because when you do that, all of a sudden he starts thinking about things and he's going, wait a second, you know, and you don't have to throw jealousy in his face. You don't have to throw men in his face because he'll start thinking about that himself. Like, yeah, is she hanging out with just her girlfriends? Is there a guy in the picture? Like what's going on here? Right. And he'll start worrying about it and he'll be like, okay, I gotta, you know, if we aren't exclusive now, we, we should probably kind of talk about this, you know, and, and Th and that kind of thing will start coming up for him, right? And, and if he's really, really disciplined and strong, he might hold back for a while. But if, if he really wants something with you and, you know, he's really attracted to you and he really desires you, he might even start bringing up a lot of these topics instead of you having to wait about it. And that's really the ideal scenario that you want to be in. And so another thing is rewarding bad behavior with absence. Right. And so basically this whole thing is what a lot of women do is they when a guy kind of does things that they don't like or they, a guy treats her badly or something, she'll try to communicate and connect with him and do all these things. And, and you want to communicate, but you don't want to kind of attack and try to shame and try to do all those things. But what you want to do is communicate that it's not acceptable for you, that it's uh, something that's breaking your boundary and you want to reward that bad behavior with your absence and pulling away because that is the fastest way for a guy to start paying attention to what's going on is when you start pulling away and leaving because all of a sudden it shows that you're really, really serious about it. If you talk about it and talk about it, one of the big things that a lot of guys talk about in the men's dating space, I used to be in the men's dating space and I used to teach in the men's dating space years and years ago. And one of the guy, one of the things that guys used to talk about in that space is whenever a woman would leave them, <laughs> which happens, is they would say things like, oh, when she kept saying stuff like that, like she was going to leave me, but I never took her seriously, 
right? And if you want him to take you seriously, then give him the gift of missing you. Give him the gift of your absence when you want to discourage bad behavior. So which comes to the next point and the most important point here, which is being willing to walk away long term, right? So if if you're not getting your needs met and you've been seeing a guy and he's not willing to meet your needs, you know, maybe you, you're in a relationship and you've talked about these things and you've communicated these things, you know, maybe you didn't start seeing my videos until last week and you you've been in a relationship for a while and you're in this situation, one of the most important things that you need to know is that you have to be willing to walk away if you're not getting what your your needs met. And the whole point of this is switching your mindset, right? Switching your mindset from being about this guy, this one guy that you want to get into, to have, to catch, to keep, you know, switching your mindset from this guy to the relationship. You know, and figuring out what's more important, this guy having this one guy or having the ultimate relationship that I want to have. And my suggestion is that you focus on the relationship instead of the guy. And, you know, obviously that's going to be up to you because it's your choice and what you want to have. But my suggestion is that you make sure that you're willing to get what you deserve in your life. And that focus, in my opinion, should be on the relationship instead of the guy. 